All right, so what we're working on today is a 2003 Toyota Sequoia, and it's a V8, and it's an SR5. It is not a four-wheel drive, okay? So, the problem that we have is the wheels are shaking whenever you put the brakes on, all right? Now, I looked at it visually with a flashlight and noticed that the pad thickness on the outside pad is different than the inner pad. Now, this particular vehicle has Toyota service brakes on it. That doesn't mean everything was replaced. It just means that somebody took it to the dealer and had a pad slap. It should have had calipers too, and they wanted an exorbitant amount of money for calipers. So they are expensive. They're 80 bucks a piece from O'Reilly, and you got a $40 core. Now, the second part about checking out what the problem is on this is when I try to turn this wheel, okay, it's really tight. I mean, I can't turn it it's stuck so by seeing the pad thickness is different on the outer one the pistons in here are stuck you put the brake on they come out but they don't retract they're supposed to retract like a half a millimeter or something like that and <clears throat> leave a, a gap in there so that it doesn't rub all the time so they'll rub all the time overheat the brakes wear the pad out everything gets fried so what we're doing is replacing the calipers the pads and the rotors okay rotors are about 75 bucks a piece in that range these are 80 bucks a piece or so in that range you could probably find them cheaper Amazon or whatever <clears throat> I've got O'Reilly stuff here that's one of them there that's one of the brake calipers there boy there it is yeah and I've got a it's got a bright sunlight today Let's see here. Get a part number on this. D976. It doesn't look like it comes with pins and all that garbage. So I'll have to use the, the pins and clips and springs that are with it. I'd rather have all that. We'll make do with what we got, okay? Uh, this is the brake rotors. I've got two of those. So. The other issue that I want to point out on these is on these Toyotas, they use this hard brake line here. It's a 10 millimeter. And this one has already been messed with, okay? And it's messed around. I mean, you know, it, it seems like it's like this every freaking time. So what you end up having to do is you have to take both ends of this off. Both ends are off and it's loose, but it's actually spring-loaded stuck in position there, okay? So do that, you'll remove the caliper by taking out the caliper bolts, okay? You take those two bolts out and then you can get the caliper off, put the new caliper on there and place this in there spring loaded ways. You'll have to just respring it to put it in there or you can replace it. No matter what you do, it's a tricky deal. I don't know why Toyota did this. One day we'll find out. But uh, for now, I just wanted to go over a few notes and a few thoughts about this uh, right now I'm letting the old brake fluid drip out uh, just doing a drip style bleed like this is not a crime okay the guys in the shops do it all the time every day all day long just don't let it all run out okay don't let your mattress cylinder run dry and right now I'm just letting the extra the old brake fluid that's in the mattress cylinder run out now this vehicle is from the north somewhere it's got lots of corrosion uh, a normal service, okay, would be to change the brake lines and flush the brake fluid and things like that. Well, we're working on this because the brakes are shaking and they're afraid of the car. So, you know, and I'm going to recommend service uh, and they're going to have to schedule things like this, okay? Uh, they don't want to do things like this now because they're already spending a bunch of money on this other junk. So, we'll get them straightened out and get them on the road. I'll let them know that the plastics and rubbers and all lines and all that garbage has to be replaced. But for now, just make a note of what the situation is on this Toyota Sequoia. This is just a simple brake job. There's nothing special about this at all. Just be careful with these hard lines like this. This will get you in trouble, okay? You, you, when you put it back together, have everything loose so you can wiggle it around and get those guys started. If you're afraid of that, you can take this clip off and get it loose too. And if your line is already messed up, 
I suggest going ahead and get a brand new one. While you're at the, the auto parts, replace that sucker because someone has already messed up this end and it's kinked. So I can manage that and make it work. Some people can't. So I hope that this little tidbit of information has helped somebody out. Y'all have a good day. Please subscribe.